The AI video world has seen some rapid development over the past couple of weeks and I have a couple of videos coming out on AI video generation because a lot has been happening in that space. But in this video, I wanted to quickly show you a new tool that was released by Runway, which I think is a game changer in the way we generate AI generated animations and AI generated videos. Now what this tool does, it's called Runway Act 1. If you think about what character animator does for 2D animations, if you've watched a couple of my tutorials where you can use your facial expressions to sort of guide the animations of the character well the runway act one is attempting to do this for any ai generated character so this could be 3d realistic looking humans or any characters at all generated by ai you could use your facial expressions or get a professional uh, motion capture actor to do that on camera and use that and transfer those inputs to your character now they're not the first ones that have attempted to do this but from some of the first results i'm seeing from this i think they're one of the best out there because the results are quite impressive in how it's able to capture uh, some of the details of the facial expressions so in this video i'm going to show you how you could use the tool and then it currently only supports animating one character at a time but i'm going to show you a trick you could use to actually get it to animate more than one character as many as you want uh to create something like this <laughs> um are you seeing what i'm seeing uh oh yeah do you think we should tell him to stop embarrassing himself yeah it's perfect perfectly hilarious Right, to access it you want to head over to app.runwayml.com now runway does have a free tier where you could actually generate videos for free but it looks like if you want to use this act one tool you cannot do that with the free plan unfortunately because the moment you click it uh, right here so i'm going to go to try now act one so if you go to act one right here you can see it prompts you to actually upgrade your plan uh, you'd have to pay about ten dollars or fifteen dollars a month to use that but i'm going to show you how it works here if you want to see how it works so the first thing you want to do right here is that they ask you to select a video so i'm going to click on select asset and then i'm going to upload a video here i've just done a quick recording to do some facial testing and then what happens is that they have a bunch of characters that you could select from here uh, a bunch of sample characters but i know this would work pretty well because i guess this character is optimized for that but i want to see how well this works with something that i have generated so i'm gonna go to upload and then i'm gonna select um one of the characters i generated for max from my previous video so and it's as simple as that you're just gonna click generate it's gonna take a couple of minutes whoa So that is not bad at all. So if you look at it, it's actually picking all the movements, including if we look closely right here, even the movement of my eyebrows and the blinks. So that's quite impressive. Okay, so that wasn't bad, but next let's actually try lip syncing. So in the next video, I'm actually gonna speak and see how well it syncs with my lips as well as my other facial expressions. Whoa, look at all that gadget. This is much bigger than my tat. Wow. Can't wait to explore it all. And I must say, I am impressed with the result. The lip sync is actually spot on and it's still able to gather the rest of my facial expression. So I'm actually now excited to work on the full Max movie. So watch out for that. But if you look at it, there is some bit of lifelessness in it. And I have some weirdness going on with the eyes there, as you can see. But this might just be because of the way this character has been generated. So now let's actually try it with some of the inbuilt characters because I'm sure these have been properly optimized to use this tool. Let's see if we can get some better results from that. Whoa. Look at all that gadget. This is much bigger than I thought. Wow. So for me, that was much better. I think the expressions were much lively. So I think there is something about the way the character is generated. And once I do the deep dive video of this, I'll make sure to cover whatever I find on that. So make sure you subscribe for that. Let's try one more and see what we get. Young boy, did I just hear you say, take us to the sun? <laughs> Again, that one was really, really, really good. If you look closely, you can see that even the wrinkles on my head were being picked by this, which is actually crazy and insane. So there is a lot of potential in the tool. All right, so now next let's talk about, uh, it only supports one character. So let's talk about how you can actually get this to generate more than one character animation. So I'm gonna head over here. I have a car, car, some characters here that I've generated of two, uh, a man and a lady. 
uh, but I want both of them to speak in it. So what I'm going to do is grab that, take it on to Photoshop and use the uh, Photoshop select tool to individually select the both characters and separate them out. Now, once I've done this, I'm then going to take out the background, um, use Photoshop generated fill tool to regenerate uh, the backdrop from this so that I have a clean slate background. And that's you can use the generate background option on Photoshop right here to actually generate a background for that. So I now have three sets of image. I have the male individually, I have the female individually, and then I have a background. So the next thing I want to do is then um, remove the background and replace that with a green screen background because we're going to key that in, key that back in later. So I'm then going to have this saved as just the male character with a green background and just a female character with a green background. So now I'm going to do my motion capture uh, with my camera and then I'm going to head back to Runway ML and upload the male character right here and do the motion capture for the male character. And then I'm also going to head over and upload the female character and do the motion capture for the female character. So what I now have is two individual videos that have motion capture in them and a clean background slate. Uh, so now I'm going to take all of these and put in my video editor tool. You could use whatever. You could use a free tool like CapCut. I use Premiere Pro, so I'm going to use Premiere Pro for this. So I'm going to put my clean slate background in the bottom layer. I'm going to drag the male video, dump it on there, scale it and resize it to fit. And then I'm going to do the same for the female video, put it on there, scale it and resize to fit. And then on Premiere Pro, I'm going to use the Ultra Key tool to key this out so that we have... Um, the background the green background removed and then now i now have both of them uh added back into the scene so this way i can have the animation for both tools and again once i do the full fledged tutorial on this i might dive in deeper into this uh if you're just wondering again just high level how i changed the voice to not sound like my voice i took whatever i did with my voice acting and i put that into 11 labs uh speech to speech uh, they call it voice changer right now and I was able to use that to change my voice to the female voice and my voice to the deeper male's voice and that and then match that all back again in Premiere Pro. Uh, so if we put that all together we now have what you saw in the intro of this video and I'm gonna play it one more time. Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, oh yeah. Do you think we should tell him to stop embarrassing himself? Yeah, it's perfect. Perfectly hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very quick video just to show you my quick reactions to this. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, uh, figure out some more trips and ticks, and I'm going to do a second tutorial on this uh, that goes probably a bit in-depth if I find uh, interesting enough things that warrant a second tutorial uh, to show you a full workflow on how to use this in your animation project or any AI video generation project. So do make sure you're subscribed to the channel to watch out for that. And like I mentioned, the AI video world has been really, really crazy. So I have a few tutorials coming out on AI video generation alone, animations and more. Uh, so again, Watch out for those. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye.